G'day folks, this is a very popular camping and fishing spot, the type of spot that I normally drive past. Hey you, you're watching Robbie Fishing. Rightio folks, and I'm the first to admit that I usually drive past these types of spots, they're popular, there's a lot of people around, this campsite where I am now there's nobody here, but there's seven or eight campsites down there and probably three or four of them have got people camping in them, there's been a number of cars, cars driving past, this is a popular spot, normally I go past these, but I thought I might just step into the water and make a few casts and just see whether I can see a trout follow my spinner even if I just get a follow that'll tell me that they're here watch what happened oh take it take it take it I'm not expecting to catch too much just here because I'm in the middle of a, uh, a very popular campsite. But you never know. Just thought I'd just stop and have a cast and just see whether there's any fish in the, in the creek. Got him. Look at that tiny, tiny little one. Oh, that answers that question. Look at the size of that little trout. Wow. Tiny. Yeah, see you later, buddy. Well, that answers that question. There's certainly fish in the creek despite being in the middle of a popular area. Big crayfish down there. Here he comes. He's big by these creek standards anyway. Look at that. That's quite a big crayfish for these little streams. Full of eggs too. Full of cackleberries. That's actually a very big crayfish for a mountain stream. <laughs> Got him. Look at that. <laughs> From right up here on the high bank. It's a high banker. Mate, calm your farm. Oh gee whiz, he swallowed it too. Look at that on it. It's not too bad. I'll be able to get that out. It's deeper than I'd like, but it's only just down. There we go. He'll be right, I reckon. He'll be fine. See you later, mate. I'll be bugging. From right up here off this high bank. Nice cast Roberto. Got him! Look at that! Oh, he was a nice fish. He was pulling a little bit of drag. I was just going to say two in the one hole from the same spot in the middle of a popular campsite. Wow! There's actually four or five people, like four or five camps set up here now. Got him! Oh, he hit it! He hit it but didn't hook up. This is insane. I am absolutely 100% guilty of avoiding popular places because they see too much fishing pressure. This spot sees a mountain of fishing pressure. And you know, I've just caught a couple of trouty, a nice crayfish, hooked another one, nice one, got him, little one. I've just walked past here. Look at that, another nice little brown. The one I just lost was four times the size of that. See ya, mate. So I've caught two. Lost one and had one of the nice ones strike just in this one hole here right now, right in the middle of a. Uh... Next, I caught one and lost. I no, caught another, another one. Look, look, I've lost count. It's a little bit bigger than the one I just caught. Similar to the first one. A little bit bigger than. Oh, there he goes. There he is. A little bit bigger than the first one. <laughs> this is insane. I'm right in the middle of a campsite. Maybe a lot of people that camp here are here for other reasons, not just fishing reasons. Surely I'm not going to catch any more. There's another really big crayfish over there. See if I can hook him with my spinner. It's in his, it's in his claw. <laughs> I 
Yeah. I've got it, look. <laughs> oh dear. Mate. I've got eggs too. Good hard to grab you when you're bent right backwards like that, mate. Pin you down. Look at that. She's got eggs as well. Dude, this waterway must be healthy. Beautiful crayfish. If you have a look at the water, you'll see it's starting to come up quite murky. I came in from upstream and only about three or 400 metres upstream of here, there's a little bridge and there was a white four-wheel drive parked there with the tailgate down. Somebody up there is doing something to the water. They're either in the water swimming, fishing, or quite likely even gold panning, which is making all this water dirty. And I just wonder whether that's what's made these fish bite because they have been so active. I am the first to admit that I will drive straight past these easy to get to public campsites in my quest to get to the hard to get to less fished spots. Maybe I need to start uh, spending more time in the popular spots. Perhaps everybody has the same idea as me and the people that come here may not affect the fishing so much. For whatever reason, this has opened my eyes to fishing in a public spot where there's lots of people. There's seven or eight camps here now and I still manage to catch a few fish.